Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Jojo and Shruti, Manu, and Abdullah Siddiqui. Lovely combination. It's going to be a complete show shot, amazing song already. <laughs> exactly, we know it. So they collabed a year ago on this track called "Come Through." A lot of requests have come in for it, and um, we just heard "Sai" by Manu, and we loved it. And of course, we are Abdullah fans, and they collabed on "Go" in Coke Studio. Now that I think about it, because Manu helped write those lyrics, yeah. and yeah. and it was Abdullah's and uh, Atif's song. Remember? So uh, clearly, the friendship and love has it goes back a long way. <laughs> so let's get to this song. Uh, original and performed by Abdullah and Manu. Produced, mixed, and mastered by Abdullah. Vocal production by Abdullah and Manu. Okay, we are expecting great things. Let's get into it. Okay, ready. One, two, three, play. I've been trying to find a reason. You hold the hands of a sim, and I don't know, but I promise I'm trying to cage my demons. I'm trying to work on myself, knowing if I ever wanna kick my feet up, it could need me. Not be bored, see, kuch aise hai ye zindagani meri, par ye sochu jab zor dun kyu lagti hai lag si ha kismet meri hai kyu yu mein jab si par. I've been waiting for this. All my life, I ain't gonna let nobody come and steal my light. 'Cause the seasons come and go, but this feeling it won't ease up. I'm tryna let go, but I think I need a breather. I'm feeling so beaten, but hard na hi hai mani koi le se bane ga hira. Hai zindagi se sika, maine jo bhi hai jita, wo sab hai isi liye. 'Cause I always had freedom. I'm speaking through my privilege. I'm trying to make it even, trying to make my dreams come true. Man, I know I gotta speak up, so don't take me for a fool. Cause I could be a beacon of hope, so just trust me. I'm here for a reason, and I'm thinking if you come through, what conclusions would you come to? Got who got up, got them sochu ke ke kyu hu me is jaga pe roko ke mujhe yahan ne baage ye baatein just come through. If I'm honest, I would love to show you why I do this, why I don't doubt that I get where I want to. But still, I don't. So just come through. You took a lighter to my dreams, and now you're blinded by the beams. You started this fire, my hopes and desires. Not waiting for you to redeem, 'cause I'm a fighter in the green, and there's no stopping this machine. Can't preach to this choir. I'll only fly higher. And any second, I could say a prayer for the ones who fell before me. I could say a prayer for the shadows who adore me. I could set you free from the pain of knowing you were not among the ones who saw me, saw me. I could say a prayer for the ones who fell before me. I could say a prayer for the shadows who adore me. I could set you free from the pain of knowing you were not among the ones who saw me. If you come through, what conclusions would you come to? Ya ho ga ab kya tum sochoge ke kyu ho main is jagah pe rokoge mujhe ya ne baage ye baatein just come through. If I'm honest, I would love to show you why I do this, why I don't doubt that I'll get where I want to. But still, I don't hope you don't get me. Yeah, so just come through. Heart is still beating with it. I still have goosebumps. This song, this song has my complete heart. It mm. is a beautiful song. 
like you know english poetry is very different mm-hmm. from hindi or urdu poetry yeah because unka ek flavor alag hota hai mm-hmm. is gaane mein they've managed to get the whole you know the urdu poetry ka flavor in english words what there were there were moments in which dil se wah nikal rahi thi like you know i was listening and i was like wah and then uh, but it was like you know ah it was and that music that music ke andar jaate jaate wo jo shift tha it like the panning the way the panning had been done it had been used so beautifully and perfectly and all those references they were using about right in, right in the beginning you know ki koila uh, kis tarah heera banta hai Hira. and the whole visual also you know checking the visual out constantly it's initially i couldn't figure out whether it's water whether it's feathers in so uh, in in a diamond whenever air gets trapped uh, oh. it manifests itself like a feather it's called mm. a feather yeah. so i couldn't figure out if those were feathers in a diamond or if it was uh, you know like forming water that had just been captured and then created whatever artistic structure they have Art. graphic yeah. you know put over there it went so perfectly with the song that it was almost like modern art because it didn't mean anything and yet every line was relatable to the art that you know one was seeing it was just perfect this song it's an uh, you know we said this before abdullah siddiqui normally jitne gaane kar raha hai na abhi ek ek karke the all the museum museum mein dalna chahiye ha yeah, museum of music it is art and manu uh, we've heard manu singh before na of yeah. course we have and he heard him uh, we have and in this also the voices went so perfectly together mm. and it was just oh, i wanted to cry and laugh at the same time yeah. the song is just it's beautiful thank you for making this you guys it's yeah. a beautiful song yeah jojo over to you tell yeah. me everything you felt with this song you know there's so many layers and to unpack in this it's insane abdullah siddiqui's mind just blows my mind you know his the way his mind works as a music producer and as a lyricist because every line was layered with so many meanings i was yeah. just like how how like you are a gift to the world i will just say it again and again because you know right from the second it started with the with the water drops sound no the water yeah. droplets yeah. are falling and yeah. there's otherwise there's like pretty much silence other than that it was just kind of setting the mood of like this space that is like i don't know it i feel like like you're in a in a inner cave you know and the, and you can hear the echo of the water droplets so it's kind of like you're in the, in your mind cave and you're you you're now you know setting the mood for these thoughts that are there that are coming to you so the, those are like the visuals that were coming in my mind and and just the the entire um, like manu's verse okay let's come first to manu's uh, singing the the way he's uh, singing in this now sounds so different from the way he sounded in sai because and it has it has everything to do with how his voice has been treated you know in the mastering and mixing yeah. of the track because um is genius because he's delivering these lines and even in the chorus for example and i think abdullah was also on the chorus uh, together with him uh there were so many parts where one word or two words at the end of the line were repeated and repeated with an additional layer on top you know mm-hmm. of uh, of treatment yeah. of modulation some kind of like synthesizing has has happened i don't know what the technical words are for these things but uh it just um, made it sound like oh my god every single word of this song and every single second of the song has been given so much thought and there's so much finesse that's gone into the mastering of this song it sounds so good it sounds so different it sounds so international it sounds so like um you know the the artistry level is so high um yeah. that you can't you can't really then think of anything to sort of compare it with because it's so different and unique like you said it's art and it it, it would then belong in that museum of music that we discussed the last time <laughs> but um all these thoughts were happening in my mind as it was going on while i was also emotionally getting involved with the lyrics uh, i was trying to read uh, see if the lyrics are in but they're not but both of them right from such a um uh, relatable space no yet yeah. in their own unique different ways manu saying yeah. um saying something which uh, we can all relate to and then abdullah comes in and says something that is very starkly different the thought the base thought is the same but in delivered in such different words and again it's relatable for the listener and and throughout because there's so much finesse and clarity in both their voices uh every word they're uttering then is leaving you with goosebumps because 
one the voice and two the meaning behind the words oh like yeah. how man you know just their lyrics are always specifically like you know whenever uh, it's it's always about that one place where in your heart it's your insecurity yeah. you know and when you put your insecurity yeah. out there with a very with with beautiful words and with beautiful poetry and you put the question out there that becomes so relatable because at, at some point or the other everyone's gone through that insecurity you mm-hmm. know that that whole feeling of bearing your thoughts to someone not knowing if they will accept you or they won't yeah you know in the simplest way that's what the song was about yeah. when you are talking about something and you don't know if you will be accepted but just that one thought everyone faced it yeah. but usko aise aise piro ke the way they've presented it na relatable hai lekin phir wah bhi nikalti hai ki like kaise inhone aise words chun ke aur aise listen in this song na music was as much a part just you know normally sometimes like few in few cases lyrics takes like center stage in yeah. few cases the music takes center stage and that jugalbandi happens off and on through the thing isme both the things were center stage together at the same time constantly constantly and that just yeah it was and the thoughts also na like come through what conclusions will you come to it's like yeah. you know i really it's there's a lot of vulnerability in the lyrics and there's a lot of like i am who i am and uh, you know i'm putting myself out there for you to see i love the first two lines of abdullah's verse also as soon as it just made me i think it was something like you put a lighter to my uh, dreams or something and line, the oh, something now you're blinded by my beams yeah the beams something oh, beautiful. you know like that i was just like how do you write like this <laughs> you know? those that those are the two lines which made me almost feel like you took a lighter to my dreams uh and now you're blinded by the beams this is urdu poetry put into english i'm telling you this is what it sounded like this is just brilliant yeah oh so inspiring so good so relatable so just and the whole like preach and prayer and she preach to the choir and then say a prayer and the whole like play there i was just like man this 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 guy <laughs> आफ्टर इफेक्ट पता क्या हो रहा है अभी मुझे सबको बंद करके ऐसे 10 मिनट के लिए रोने का मन कर रहा है ओह नो नो आई एम फीलिंग वेरी यू गॉट टू स्टॉप मेकिंग अस लाइक दिस लाइक बस हो गया इट्स जस्ट लाइक जस्ट देम इज अ कॉम्बो इज जस्ट लाइक यार दिस इज दिस इज द यूनिकनेस अबाउट अम अबाउट अब्दुल्ला दैट वी सी ओवर एंड ओवर इन ऑल हिज सॉन्ग्स यू नो देयर सच ऑनेस्ट अम देयर सच ऑनेस्ट अम opening up of the sensitive side and the vulnerable side and all of that uh it feels yeah. like uh, he's also on a mission to tell people to to be comfortable doing that you know yeah yeah, yeah. so that's Just what he is self accept yourself before yeah. you, you so know very, expect other people to accept you yeah, yeah. come through man for each other okay i am just yeah this is going on loop and thank you so 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 much uh manu and abdullah for the music and for existing and for writing stuff like this and creating stuff like this it is an absolute joy thank you guys for recommending um and bringing the song into our lives leave me your recommendations in my dms ms bola is there this is how you support the channel and bus i'm just overwhelmed by the song so we're going to take your leave and we'll see you in the next one live long and prosper